Hi everybody, it's Bill Cody, Vegas Bill on Twitter, and Chris Rashnot behind the camera. He's 24K on Twitter. We're here at the grand opening of the Natural Wonders Gallery inside of the Palazzo, Las Vegas. We're here today with photographer. I'm Robert Park. And he has um, included some of his really fantastic and grand photographs of uh, landscape and other objects. And here's one of them behind me. So tell us a little bit about how you compose this photo and, and what kind of technology we're looking at here. Okay, certainly. This, this piece, which I call uh, Awakening, uh, this was shot in Antelope Canyon about four years ago uh, using the large format wooden plate camera. And in Antelope Canyon, uh, it's very difficult to conceptualize until you've been there a couple of times. Uh, the light gets so low that our eyes stop seeing the color. But the beautiful thing is that the film still sees color. So when your eye has been trained to see uh, these situations and know what's going to happen, you can interpret what the output is going to be. And in this particular space, uh, I had been through the canyon a couple of times. And I saw, uh, you watch the light move through the canyon. And these shafts of light appear. They move throughout the canyon. And they're somewhat ephemeral. And this is one I, uh, I had set up and waited for about 30 minutes for the light to continue across the horizon and create this shaft of light in the spot that I had pre-visualized. Now how do you know when is the right moment to take the photo for lighting conditions? When your heart is just about to jump out of your chest. <laughs> uh, it's an innate sense, I guess you could say, that the, uh, that the photographer develops. Uh, and uh, with the large format camera, it's $7 a click, so you're very selective. And uh, you get to train your eye, you know, when the light and the play of shadows and light uh, are just about right. And when you, you have the, the ethereal glow in the canyon, uh, it just it all seems to happen and your heart is just jumping out of your chest. That's the only way I can describe it. It's, it's being there. And tell us about the the printing technology and, and other technologies you've used to create this amazing photograph. Okay, this is on Fuji Flex uh, film. It's actually a, a film that has the uh, emulsion on top of it, it's not paper. And the wonderful thing about this is it, it replicates the look of an original transparency. And the traditional photographic process with the silver halide crystals and the dyes that are in the emulsion, um, they, they react to the light on it. And it's exposed and then processed the traditional way. I mean, remember, uh, when you used to buy chemicals at the convenience store and process your old pictures. This is developed in, in the chemical process, in the traditional method. method. So do you have two people, uh, like one on either side, taking it through the chemicals, or a um, it's, machine? It, it's actually a, a machine processor. It's about the size of a Volkswagen and weighs easily as much, um, especially when it's filled with, the, with all of the processing chemicals. Uh, but it's a, um, uh, statistically, it, it's a very tight process. Things have to be within a degree with the water temperatures and the processing times for everything to come out correct and for the colors to be spot on. So uh, it's, it's a fully computer controlled machine that does the actual processing. And Robert, what do you call this particular print that we are seeing? I call this awakening. 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 It gives the sensation of discovery, uh, especially when I was in the canyon and the, the shapes and forms were just in this almost like a chalice and the, the beam of light was coming out of this area and it was, it was a spiritual moment really and uh, awakening is the title that I've chosen for this. Excellent. And one uh, last comment you have for our viewers who are photographers who are in the, the digital age now mm -hmm. who have maybe gotten away from this or have no idea what this is all about in big format printing. What would you say to them who are very interested in the art? In the art? Um, that's a good question. Um, 
It really has to be following your emotions and your emotional response to what you experience and figuring out how to translate your emotional response, how you felt, what moved you to take, you know, to create this um, image. And regardless of, of media, um, digital or traditional analog, it's all about emotional content. So don't get so tied up in the, the technology, get you know, tied up in what made you, what moved you to create something. Well, great. Thank you very much for talking with us today. And I'm Bill Cody, Vegas Bill on Twitter, and Chris Rochnot, 24K's behind the camera. We're here at the gallery inside of the Palazzo Las Vegas.